Since the 2020 election, conspiracy theories surrounding the voting machines that scan and count ballots has prompted an effort across parts of the country to move to hand counting. But hand counting is a process that is labor intensive, prone to error, and takes a long time. One Metro Atlanta County election official told me it would have taken 100 days to count every race on every ballot in the 2020 election. Experts say hand counting is too risky in all but the smallest jurisdictions. There have been attempts since the 2020 election to utilize hand counts, and they have been largely cumbersome, slow, and costly. Experts say machines, unlike humans, are designed to handle repetitive tasks and do so with accuracy. But those who believe the 2020 election was stolen from former President Donald Trump see the machines as untrustworthy and capable of being manipulated. There are numerous processes in place to ensure that these machines are working correctly. Prior to an election, election officials will use test ballots through a process known as logic and accuracy testing to ensure that the machines are counting votes properly. Amid all these calls for hand counts, it's important to remember that experts have estimated that more than 97% of all ballots cast in this year's presidential election will have either a paper ballot or a paper record of every vote cast. And that will be important in the event of any questions concerns, errors, mistakes, or even a cyber attack should that occur, that that record exists and election officials can use that to get an accurate count of the vote.